It is time for your tropical weather update. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Kevin Roth. Of course, this time of year, always watching the tropics, but some good news for you here. As you look at the expected tropical development over the next five days, there is none, no expected tropical development, uh, which is what we like to see. Notice though, that area there, that brown or the, the reddish hues and oranges that you're seeing, that is Saharan dust. And when you get those big dust plumes rolling off Africa, it really inhibits or limits storm development. So while it's not necessarily fun to get that dust in and around Southeast Texas, it does limit storm development. So it's a, a bit of a double edged sword there because of the rain in the front that we're going to see, we should be shielded from most of that dust. And you can see that front that I'm talking about. There is an area that we're watching for uh, south in the Western Caribbean here around Central America that could spin up something tropical, something mischievous. Very likely, if that happens, it would be in the Eastern Pacific instead of in the Atlantic Basin, which is a fancy way of saying it wouldn't be our storm even if something does happen. So we'll keep an eye on that. But you see that front that's dropping in as that combines with low pressure, it's really going to bump up our moisture levels and bump up our rain chances in a non tropical way in a very welcome and appreciate uh, appreciative way. As we start to see those significant rainfall totals one to three inches through this event will be common. Some will see more than that. And then by the end of the week, this front drops in drier air starts to build in as well and will begin to dry back out. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Kevin Roth and that's a look at your tropical weather update.